Good morning. I am going to do a video here that is a little tricky for me to do. I want to talk about your head covering if you wear one. If you don't, you know, just skip over this particular video because you're not going to find it interesting probably. Um, the size of your head covering is essentially what I want to talk about today. The reason I want to talk about this is it was very recently called out on wearing a hair accessory instead of a head covering and I wanted to address that. I want to address it carefully because I think the person who called me out was very sincere. I don't think they were in any way trying to be mean or unkind or anything like that. I completely understand where they're coming from because I myself used to feel very similar in opinion. The thing is with that, and again, I'm not, not the least bit angry or mad or upset, just want to talk about this because they brought out I thought was an important point that was worth discussion. And again, discussion meaning please comment below, let me know what you think about it too. Um, basically the comment was that the person was sad that there are a lot of women like me who are making covering videos but not really covering our heads. The, basically we don't have enough coverage, she said it was more of a hair accessory than a covering of the head. I'll grant you, I can understand why she would say that and why she had posted what she said because again, came from the same viewpoint in the past at times. I've covered for a very long time, since 2001, and over the years I have experimented with so many styles. <laughs> I think just about every style you can imagine. I've experimented with it and tried to find one what's me, what works, what do I feel fulfills the scriptures. I went through a time where I covered very fully and like literally no wisp of hair at all were showing. And some of you know that if you have subscribed to me for very long, you know that I had that period where my cousin, my coverings looked very Muslim looking almost, which is another video I need to talk to to do here soon on coverings of that style and type. But what I want to address in this one is the size of the covering. Is coverings like I have on now that show my hairline and show the front part. Um, in this case, you can even see some from the back. It's a very wide headband. It's not like a narrow by any means. It's probably like six inches, seven inches. Oh, sorry, hit the microphone. It's probably like six, seven inches wide, something like that. Um, does that qualify as a head covering? Good question. What does qualify as a head covering? I think you have to come at it from a couple perspectives. One, do you feel that the head covering, what are you covering for? Are you covering for the passage in Corinthians that goes through and tells us about the headship order and the heart of the reason for the head covering being that you're basically showing that you are putting yourself under that headship order? Or are you covering maybe for a reason, something like modesty? I hear often people trying to cover for modesty. Um, that's not what the passage says. It doesn't talk about modesty. Now, modesty is important, as I've talked about in other videos, modesty with our clothing and stuff like that. But the head covering itself is not a modest issue. It's not for that reason. The way I see it is I see it symbolic of the headship order. And I think the most important thing to have down and right is that headship order itself. Otherwise, the symbol is really a mockery. And, of course, people disagree on whether or not you need the head covering as a symbol at all. Totally understand that. Totally understand the arguments to it. There was a brief time years ago when I took the head covering off for a while because I struggled with it. And, you know, it wasn't easy, you know, back then. I'm pretty used to it now, but it wasn't easy at the time. So I had periods of time when I did take that off. And I would view it as the hair as the covering and so forth, as many people do. And I understand that. However, I think that ultimately, if you're going to wear the covering, because I do believe the scripture is talking about a physical veil there. Reasons for it, I could probably do another video maybe one day about that, but I do think it's talking about a physical veil. 
the piece of cloth, but nowhere does it say the size of that cloth. I know the general gist is, you know, covering your head. I totally understand the argument that it shouldn't be a hair accessory. But personally, I don't really feel like this is a hair accessory. I don't wear it to look cute or to be pretty or anything like that. If it were about how I wanted to look, I wouldn't wear it at all. Um, back before the head covering, I would, you know, style my hair and do a just very different that was not a thing I would want to wear I wear it for a very specific purpose and it's very symbolic of that and I don't think anybody is going to misunderstand or see it as a fashion accessory with the way I wear my coverings I think it probably is a little bit of a dangerous path if somebody tries to make them look like they really are just for fashion's sake because it kind of hurts the heart of it a little but all in all, I still think it's awesome that they're viewing the scripture and trying to obey it. Um, I think it's the sort of thing that different people are going to carry out a little bit differently. That probably sounds like I'm trying to give a justification, like a worldly justification to it. And I really don't think that I am. I think it's just a human nature we're going to have slightly different opinions and how best to carry something like the head covering out. What qualifies as covered, what doesn't qualify, to, what doesn't qualify as being covered and so forth. Now I went through that period of time where I felt guilty for showing any wisp of hair and what kind of kept happening was I kept putting more and more requirements on myself to cover everything and to never have any little tiny tendrils hanging out because that's one problem I had is I kept having little wisps and I was, I, was, I was so hot oh I was so hot I get hot easy it's just even if I'm on the thinner on weight I get really hot but especially if my I'm struggling with my weight it affects the hormones and all that and oh I get so hot and having that down on my head I won't lie in the summer that was miserable I was really really hot but aside from that sensory discomfort I was willing to put up with doing that if I thought that God really wanted me to cover everything fully I was totally willing to do that but the thing I kept coming back to and here's a big one the thing my husband kept coming back to was he's like you're putting more requirements on yourself than the scripture does the scripture just simply doesn't say it and he said I think you're being too um, legalistic you know we hate tossing that word around because it is so overused but ultimately he's right I was starting to view it as if I didn't do this just right and I didn't do it perfectly and I didn't cover everything just so that I was starting to view it as I was a bad Christian and you know I don't believe the covering is something that affects your salvation at all but in a way I was starting to make it that way thus I use the term legalism um, in, it was really adding to what scripture required so I think we have to be very very careful there if you and your husband feel that the head covering should cover all of the hair and that it's better to be safe than sorry which is one of the mentalities I was viewing at then bow means cover all your head there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that by covering it all I do take it a little bit of an issue with the whole intentionally looking Muslim but again I will go into another V video about that but if that is the style that you choose I understand just be careful with it um, but the thing I would encourage you not to do is don't put your own personal requirement on other sisters who do cover because what that causes is contention and a judgmental nature between each other and believe me I was falling prone to it too I kept trying so hard not to but like when you put like the extra standard on yourself that the Bible really doesn't say it just says cover your head it doesn't give specifics as to size it doesn't say all hair must be covered it just says cover your head that's a pretty wide interpretation some people are sarcastic and well you should just cover your face too you know no, that's not what it's talking about. 
we can look at history to see how the ladies covered and stuff and there is a certain cultural I suppose divide there that one could factor in I am sure within reason that the ladies who covered back in the day did not use the same style but I don't necessarily think that that's a, a bad thing or that it's sinful let me put it that way I don't think it's sinful not to wear the same style because a style isn't dictated I think we have to ultimately watch where our interpretations are versus putting them on other people if you read those scriptures in those passages is that it has to be very strict requirement that every inch be covered then again do so but be very careful about putting it on someone else because you're probably or possibly becoming a stumbling block to sisters who may be new to the covering in my case you know it's not the first time I've been called out on that particular thing there's a couple other people who've done so over the years on YouTube and I totally you know I'm cool with that I've gotten some a lot meaner comments on YouTube and usually people who talk about this sort of thing seem to be sincere so it's fine um, I wouldn't want people to approach me if I'm doing something wrong in this case giving a lot of thought about it over the years I don't think that it is wrong to wear the type of style that I wear now I have multiple styles this particular style is a little more headband like but it is a very wide headband that, again I don't think people are going to confuse it for a style choice most everybody seems if I'm out in public they seem to recognize that it is for some religious reason that I wear it so it's enough to still be symbolic of something special the other main covering that I wear a ton is like these black veils. That is not a small covering, really. I would call it a medium size. Now, I know that there's certainly like the little small circles of lace that people will put over their buns and things like that, too. And even those, most people don't see that as a fashion accessory. They may see it as maybe Mennonite's culturally passing that down and that it's a cultural tradition some people don't realize that there is a religious reason that Mennonites wear that um, but ultimately they're going to see it as religious of nature they're not going to see that as well they just do that for you know like a hair scrunchie or what have you and I have seen some people call their hair scrunchies head coverings and I don't really think those are but again that's my opinion there I don't try to call those people out for that stuff just because I don't see a, a biblical calling or directive to do that kind of thing. I think we are supposed to help each other with our walk. Please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. But I think when it comes to the size of the covering and the type, design, style, all of that, I see freedom there in the scripture. The scripture just simply doesn't say, hey, you need to do a certain amount of it. It needs to be a certain size. None of that. It just says cover your head. And ultimately, the reason we're supposed to cover our head is what I would see as symbolic. So wearing a symbol of some type, I think as long as it's re recognized to be religious in nature and showing and symbolizing something special, I think you're fine that's just my opinion there and that's where my husband's at with that too he's like I think as long as it's symbolic now he said I do think it's um doing good and being good not to be half-hearted about it do it for the right reason I think that's paramount do it for the right reason do it for what scripture calls you to do having the headship order right that it's God, Christ, husband, and wife. Having that down and having that accepted in your heart is the most important thing, not the cloth on the head. But if you're going to wear the cloth on the head, then of, of course it being um, symbolic, it needs to be recognized as a symbol. Maybe that's the best way to put it. But I don't think adding additional requirements that it must be like a traditional covering of biblical days, that it has to be the same amount of layers and and so forth I just don't see that I understand the position again been there done that 
have the collection of veils in the other room. <laughs> but I don't wear those styles. One, my husband didn't like them. I didn't find them comfortable. And I felt like I was getting too legalistic with it. And at times, too judgy of those who didn't wear that style. I don't think I was too bad at getting the, the judgy nature because I tried really, really, really hard to curtail that. But I would be lying if I said that it didn't slip in there once in a while. So I think we need to be careful and realize that to me, these are the types of things that Paul was saying, work out your own, you know. I think this falls into that category and that we need to be careful. And I wanted to do this video, especially for those of you sisters who may be new to head covering and you have people calling you out or people making you feel like you're doing it wrong and are evil or bad or not really a saved believer or something along that line. I don't think that's true. I think walking out in obedience is an awesome thing and even small coverings in this day and age are not easy to wear. So my advice is to pray about it, talk to your husband, ask him what his styles that he would prefer. If you don't have a husband and you happen to be wearing one anyway, then just pray about it and talk to God about it, of course. And do the best you can with figuring out what's proper and appropriate Make yourself a standard and stick to it. One of the ones that I usually do is I try not to get too fancy or matching my coverings to everything I wear and all that. Nothing wrong with doing that. I just don't. I tend to have a couple black ones and a few white ones and that's it. Um, I like keeping them where they're an obvious religious symbol and I think mine are. Um, never had anybody mistake it otherwise except for a few people on YouTube. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this today because ultimately I wasn't going to say anything, but then I thought, what about the other sisters who may be dealing with people coming at them for the same reason? My advice is to be kind and gracious because those ladies are probably very sincere, very much wanting to help you and wanting to see the covering held to a good standard, which I totally get. You know, having covered for a long time, I do get that. I think it's important to be done in the right spirit, but ultimately we can't know another's heart. We may see that a sister's wearing a covering and you feel like it's just not good enough, <laughs> but be careful with that. Be careful with that because that's also a dangerous road to walk. So my thinking is be careful, focus on your own veil, your own head, and asking your head, your husband, if you have one, what his opinion is, what's appropriate. Of course, if you have church standards, that very well may come into play. I don't. I, at the Baptist church we've been currently attending, I'm the only veiling person there. There are a couple ladies I've known noticed who have worn hats but I don't know them and I don't know if they're wearing them for that reason or if they're wearing them for fashion choice which is kind of the argument that I know has been brought against me you know what if a person doesn't know I do believe in my case a person's going to figure out that it's not a fashion choice but you know they can talk to me they can ask me and quite often people do so and anyway I want to I kind of want to talk about this for a few minutes and Hopefully I encourage some of you to think about it, ponder it. By all means, talk to God about it. What's better than that? Ask him, pray, and ask him what to do. And of course, I think it's very important you get your husband's opinion and support because sometimes ladies want to cover and their husbands won't let them because maybe they're not cool or keen on a certain way or style of doing it. And I would submit it's better if he only is willing to let you wear a small lace bun cover it's better than not getting to cover at all so you know work it out within your your family between you and your husband and God follow that headship order that's my advice 
and follow the Bible. And don't let the opinions of others make you feel like you're center bound for hell in that respect. I obviously think it's important as Christians that we encourage each other to stay on a narrow path. So that iron must sharpen, sharpen iron. And in that respect, having someone say that is good because it sharpens my iron and lets me think and ponder these things. Have I stepped too far off my narrow path? I think in this case, I think I'm cool. I think I'm okay. I say that fearfully <laughs> with fear and trembling because I don't want to be wrong. I really don't. In this instance, I don't think that I've done anything wrong and I know I'm in alignment with where my husband wants me to be. So for now, I'm going to continue what I've been doing and I encourage you guys to do the same. Work these things out, examine them, look at them, make sure that what you're doing is okay and it's within what God wants you to do and what your husband wants you to do. So I think I'm going to end the video. I hope this has helped somebody and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Have a blessed one.